Everyone's familiar with the sorting hat from the Harry Potter world that assigns new students of Hogwarts to one of four houses. If you're like me, you probably wonder, what makes the hat a better tool for these decisions than Hogwarts itself? You may also wonder if the hat makes mistakes or has any inherent bias that leads to flawed house assignments. These same concerns about flawed sorting exist in the real world when it comes to the use of AI tools as a replacement for human employment decision-making. As a result, New York City enacted NYC Local Law 144, also known as the Automated Employment Decision Tool Law, or AEDT Law. The AEDT Law requires employers in New York City to comply with an extensive series of requirements before using a qualifying AEDT in the hiring or promotion process. Most notably, the law requires employers to conduct an independent bias audit of the tool and translate the results into a publicly available summary. The summary will show, statistically, how different categories of candidates are impacted by the use of the tool, if at all. Audit results could show that the tool disproportionately excludes certain types of candidates, or just as plausibly, it has no statistically significant impact on anyone. NYC Local Law 144 has several major implications for employers. First, employers should thoughtfully vet not only the AI tools they use for hiring decisions, but even the vendors themselves. There's no such thing as an EEOC compliant tool. If a vendor claims they have one, look elsewhere. Second, employers must determine whether the law even applies to them, which alone is a significant challenge. If you determine the law doesn't apply, document how that decision was reached. Third, if your AI tool fits within the law, work with a third-party auditor to assess the tool. Before publishing audit results, evaluate them, ideally with counsel, and assess whether the results raise any concerns, especially from a disparate impact perspective. Finally, even if a tool isn't subject to the law, don't get comfortable. There is a growing push for greater transparency and audit requirements for employers using these tools. For example, New York State has introduced a bill that would build on New York City's law and add additional requirements, such as submission of the audit results to a central and publicly available repository, which isn't required in New York City. In sum, NYC employers who rely on AI tools need to look closely at NYC Local Law 144 and take action immediately if necessary. When it comes to compliance, unfortunately, there is no magic wand.